or welcome to Windling Farms. If you're new to this channel, you might as well go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. So if you watched my previous video, we had finished up uh, cutting the ripe beans that we had ready. So today is where we uh, decide what we're gonna do. For starters, if you guys have watched, uh, I think it was two videos ago, would have been our first day of harvest. Um, or was it the second? I don't remember. But we had a light, maybe it was my last video. Had a light, uh, my turn signal, flasher light here on the left side uh, was broke off. It's funny because uh, it actually broke because when we were pulling it out of the shed, this was folded all the way in and dad just grabbed it by the light and broke it right off. So uh, got a new one picked up yesterday so I can replace that. Early. You don't look like you're ready to run a combine. <laughs> well, we may not run combines today. No corn? Well, I don't know. Can. Could do some beans. Oh, we got beans ready now? Well, thought we yesterday we didn't. 70 acres. But it's on a 190 acre field, so do we want to go there twice? Or just wait till the others are right? Cut them all. I don't know. Well, I haven't been by the field to look at the beans. How far do you live from the field? <laughs> well, it's dark out this morning, and wow. I, I wasn't going to drive by and look at it. It was dark when I got home last night. I live about a mile and a half from the field, but I haven't been by it in a while. No. <laughs> I don't know. You either do that or put some corn in a band. Chances of rain, so. Yeah, there is a chance of rain later this morning. About 8, 9 o'clock. Not much, though. There's this. These are the foot pegs for the 380. Mm -hmm. Gotta have those. You know, you asked me a question a little bit ago that only these people can answer. So why isn't every viewer subscribed to the channel? <laughs> I don't know. Only it's they crazy. know the answer. Why aren't you guys subscribed? It's free to be a subscriber, folks. Just go ahead and click that button. It's a beautiful Friday morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sun's coming up. flip this around because I don't want the sticker on top. I could just take the sticker off but I could also just do it like this. And now I don't have to listen to the alarm on my Pro 700 saying that my left turn signal doesn't work because now it does. This is just what we needed folks, a rain. Let's see how much rain we've got here. Oh, we've had a tent. A rain would knock down some leaves on some beans that are just not quite ripe yet. It would also even them up, so a rain would do a lot of good. Yeah, it looks like the rain's just about over, folks. That's too bad. And just like that, we're gonna go cut some beans. We can cut about 70 acres today, and that's it. Uh, then it is gonna be a few days before we can cut the next variety. Um, but they are calling for some rain on Sunday. Today's Friday. Hey, are you going to leave this here? Yeah. Hold in the field after I get cutting? Uh, truck two or? Uh, probably. Uh, are you going to let everybody know it's a special day? Ah. It's your birthday. <laughs> I know. Happy birthday. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> See ya. Got a sickle section broke. Actually, it looks like just a guard. I was leaving a strip of beans here going along the end and I looked down there and I'm all missing a guard. So come with me, we're gonna go put a new one on. So as you can see here, we're missing the guard.
You guys okay? You kind of took a pretty good fall there. Shoot, I just thought about it. I don't know if I have one of these uh, plastic plates that go under here. What are the odds I go back here in the field where this started to happen? See if I can find it. It probably disappeared. Probably came off in this field, but it just magically disappeared. Let's find out. I don't see it, and I can't remember if I got one on the combine or not, so we're gonna take a look here and see. If not, I got some at the farm. I have to run there and grab one. It's my lucky day. Look at that. I better make sure. I better see how many more of these I got on the combine because it came in handy. I had one on me. Let's see. What do I need? Bolt. Nut. Need a nut. There we go. Okay. Put the sickles on. Holy cow. I'm finding all kinds of problems. Don't know what happened here, but that needs uh, loosened up and changed or tightened or something. Good thing I saw that. All right, come with me. We're all done here. Let's take a look at everything before we get in the cab. All right, let's roll. So I do have one more of those skids uh, in my toolbox on the combine. I need to throw some more in there. It's handy to have. Maybe there are some more in there buried underneath some tools, but all I saw was uh, two right there by the door. But I definitely need to carry those from the combine. The beans are tested about 13, 13 and a half. Uh, we're not able to cut the whole field, so we're just gonna cut what we can and go from there. So this is the different variety here. Um, you can see the green leaves everywhere, a bunch of green stems. I just had to try them to see what they would test and it's really not that bad. I mean, anywhere from 12 to 14. Um, they're just, they're hard cut. Now when the beans are dead ripe like this, this is good cut. But you're better off taking loads in at 13 or 12 than you are at 10, 11. This is a tight last swath here. I'm using the full 45 foot. And with Dad and I both out here combining, it's going to throw off the lines because he's got a 30 foot head and I got a 45. So, realistically, this shouldn't have matched up, but I'm not leaving any beans. Well, it's the next morning and uh, we're gonna get set up to a bin here. Get the drive over pit all situated with the auger. And then uh, there was a heavy dew, so we're gonna wait a little while and then hook the corn head up and go uh, shuck some corn.
Hey, did you have a good birthday yesterday? I guess as good as it can be. <laughs> did you have a lot of fun? Going out and eating. Yeah. Oh, it's getting beans cut. Now that was fun. <laughs> That sure is a heck of an auger. Probably wouldn't hurt to move some of them semis. Maybe you'd have a little more room, but he's a heck of an operator. He can handle it. All right, so I got the uh, auger here right strapped to the bin. So that thing stays uh, stable. Got a bungee cord hanging off the front of the spout because when the corn comes through, it's going to put a little pressure like this. Got that angled right down in the spinner. So my job up here is complete. Now let's get down without getting hurt. Well, I can hear the spreader moving. That's a good sign. I wonder if I'll just leave that on. Maybe I'll turn it off and make it somebody else's job. Hey, make sure you turn that spreader on before you fill the bin. I'm going to pick a little bit here and then we'll take a sample. Uh, I'm sure somewhere to get tested to see what we're actually reading. Shucks are still a little bit damp. Uh, that's why I'm moving at a pretty slow rate here, but it won't take too long to dry off. Since we're running one combine, I can calibrate this uh, Pro 700 yield monitor. Uh, it's not too far off, but uh, the scales are, are pretty accurate on that auger cart. So I'm just running calibration loads. So we're going to get this baby dialed in. Kicking me out of the combine. Time for me to operate this auger cart. I haven't even got to use this new auger cart yet. I'm excited. I like to run the guidance with the cart. That's about right. Holy cow, he scared me. Thought he was going to come over the front of the cart. I've got the gate wide open, but for some reason that little black rod isn't all the way way out to the top. I don't know, it's coming out of there at a pretty good pace. I just don't know why it's not showing that little, uh, little black line all the way to the max level. Maybe I'll take a look at it here after I'm done. Whoa! Not a whole lot farther. Oh, 
Well, I didn't spill any corn. You're loaded. Now the fun part, running road gear to the combine. I'm coming, Dad, don't worry. This little deal here is uh, set wrong. I need to loosen this up. There's a little set screw right here that my finger's on. Slide this down the rail. Maybe latch it on down here maybe. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna adjust it down a little bit and then next time I unload, I'll be able to see. I can't open it now because there's corn in the, in the grain cart. Well, I got it a little farther, but it's still not all the way to the max. The grain's coming out there quick. I'm back in the combine. Opening up a new field. Yeah, that ought to work. Right smack in the middle of the road. We are headed home and done for the day. Wish this corn head had a folding option. I'm gonna blow this machine and head off when I get back here. Um, it's supposed to rain first thing in the morning, so I wanna get this thing all blown off. I don't wait till you blow up. All right, folks. Well. That's the end of this video. Um, hope everybody enjoyed it. Please, if you made it this far, do not forget to subscribe. Also, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll catch you in the next one.